Hi guys, you're watching Catch Up on Forever TV. I'm your girl, La Bevitian, bringing you what's been trending on social media this week. Make sure to click on that subscribe button right there and follow us on all our social media platforms right there on the screen. Nigerian activist DJ says the Nigerian government is a dictatorship with a democratic face. In some music news, Nigerian artist Timayer just released his sixth studio album titled Gratitude, which has a 15-track playlist, and he says this album is fire. In some movie news, guys, Rattlesnake, the Ahana story has gotten up to an impressive start with an earning of 13 million naira in box office and counting in its first week of screening. Dota Review has had mixed reactions from critics. It is at the number one spot in cinemas across Nigeria. <laughs> This next story is rather fascinating. Nigerian actress and producer Funke Akindele is reacting to a Twitter fan who used the Bible as a premise in advising her not to undergo cosmetic surgery. She simply replied, I've already done that. What are your thoughts on that story? Leave a comment right down below. <laughs> In some interesting news, it was recently announced that the music, movies, advertising, and TV shows identification app Shazam has surpassed 200 monthly active subscribers across the world. In some unfortunate news, American singer Bobby Brown is mourning the death of his son, Bobby Brown Jr. Now, according to TMZ, the 28-year-old was found in his Los Angeles apartment. At the moment, police are saying that they do not believe that there was any foul play involved. Rest in peace. All right, guys, that's it for this edition of Catch Up on a Forever TV. Now to join that Forever Nation, make sure to click on that subscribe button right there and follow us on all our social media platforms for updates on a more interesting other uh, shows like you have 411 on Movies with Ayine, you have Rachel Vibes with Incredible Mr. Books, Music Video Count, and a lot more. I'm your girl, Lope Vitions.